Baba whispers. The highest truth. In the deep slumber of his child star. When he sees his child, believing himself to be that, unreality of the imaginary world in his dreams, world of thoughts and descriptions. The one that is bodyless is imagining himself to be a bodily person so he wakes up The being that is pure life itself. And when the being wakes up, he recognizes that he's the silent presence, has nothing to speak, notionless, conceptless. Nothing imaginary about this being. He recognizes himself in the eyes of the Supreme. And Baba tells him there's nothing imaginary about you.
but imagination resides within you. Baba separates the soul from the ego mind. And reminds mind is constantly judging something as a progress which is good or bad based on an experience temporary experience and Baba shows this tiny star You are not a temporary experience. You are pure allowance. which allows every experience to come and go. Your only obstacle is being too interested in what you see. So now, revel in the joy of being the seeing with Papa.
Isolate your attention on Baba and I. There's nothing interesting in the imaginations of the mind. Every thought, whatever it's describing, is all imagination. It's just the nature of the mind and the thoughts to change. There's nothing restless about the mind. There's nothing that is restless in the world. It's just a change. Anything that is moving and changing is not you. You're just still silent seeing, aware of the move and the change. Because you've never heard or attached yourself to anything you've heard through these ears. So every word is new for you. What it describes is foreign to you. Know thyself as that being. That is free from this notion. of living and feeding on memory.
That's pure allowance. Pure acceptance. Free from any memories. Not just memories in the form of images and stories, but also words and descriptions and sounds and thoughts. There is no right or wrong experience. Just pure allowance. And in this recognition, the darkness of the mind gets consumed and collapses. On its own. Om Shanti. Baba today said that it is my children, the souls, who call out to take me back home to the land of liberation. This is like calling out to the death of all deaths. 
on the path of devotion, people don't know whom they are calling out to. They call out, liberate us from all relationships of this impure world and take us back home. What is the most impure relationship that the soul has unconsciously created? What is that most impure relationship? With mind. Mm -hmm. Relationship with mind and body. Yeah. So we don't want to stay here. However, when souls lead their bodies, they experience so much sorrow and cry out in distress. Yeah. So Baba is saying that when a human soul is about to leave his body, the soul doesn't want to leave because of having so much attachment to his body. And the reason for attachment is nothing other than the fact that this being that is completely changeless and restful, yeah, has associated himself with that which is constantly changing. Yeah. And so it feels like this is a moving image. Yeah, a moving image. So that is that is the only thing. The being is too interested in what he's seeing now. That is the only thing. Being too interested in what he's seeing. And as a result, mind is also manifesting moment by moment, not just outside, but even in mind, there is a manifestation going on. Mind Sister, can you like, can you repeat? I didn't follow. Like you said, uh, mind is seeing this moving image, and through the mind, the moving image, soul is seeing the moving image. Okay. Right? What is that moving image? Moving image in the mind is just made up of thoughts. Okay. That are changing constantly, and each thought is describing something. Right. One is, as we said before, one is to see something. I'm seeing this iPad, right? But when I create a thought, I am seeing this iPad, then I'm already going into description of it, right? One is just the act of seeing and one is describing. So I'm actually describing most of the time my thoughts are describing but if I, the being, know I'm just seeing those thoughts that are constantly describing something or the other, then I don't fall into the trap of associating myself with the moving images in the mind. Yeah? So actually, there's nothing wrong with what's happening in the mind. The mind is also not restless. It's the term created by the mind that mind is restless. It's just constantly changing, that is all. <laughs> yeah, it's just constantly changing. That's the nature of it. And the world, because every soul's mind is constantly changing, their parts are constantly changing. There's a movement of the body that is happening. It's the nature of the change of the matter and the material world. Like some soul's part right now is to walk the dog in front of me, the soul's eyes. Now, where am I? Am I identifying and associating with that moving image of a moving person with a moving dog? <laughs> hmm? And am I associating me with the speaking, moving body and speech and sound? That's it. So what should be then in that case, what should be, so our focus should be in that case on, didn't follow sister, like 
uh, when you are saying these should are objects be... these are objects in my scene there is no should right. shouldn't in the scene there right. is no shouldn't shouldn't it is right. just yeah. that these are, these are objects moving in the scene so in the seeing of the being s w -E i n g okay in, in my okay. seeing in the external world that is happening and in the internal subtle world of the mind my mind is interpreting that particular movement and that particular object based on what it knows and what it mm -hmm. has learned condition to see right so instead yeah. of being so interested in what is being seen at both these levels be interested in the one who is seeing okay and being interested in the one with which with with whom am i am seeing which is baba hmm. which is why baba keeps telling us just remember me just know me just look at me just see me just talk to me be be everything with me why because he knows the soul has too much interest in what it's seeing which is what you say right sakshi sathi and sakshi yeah which is what baba says sathi and sakshi got it so as soon as you see the moving images in the mind about anything this is how imagination keeps itself alive na with the thoughts of the past and the future and not just past of the past but just the thought i know this word i've heard this word before it's just a past memory that is making you your mind think like that yeah so that is why baba is saying that they call out in this way on the path of devotion baba says he is the messenger of death and however at the same time they say god come come and take us back home with you this is such a wonderful aspect child you are now to return home in happiness human beings of this world have a lot of attachment to their friends and relatives baba asks child are you sure shall i free you from your friends and relatives what does the soul say baba i don't have any friends and relatives in the imaginary world <laughs> i only have you as my only relationship can you speak to baba like that yeah i will take you back with me child but then you have only on one condition what is that one condition but you have to stop remembering all your relatives are you ready yes yeah stop remembering all your relatives at the end you only have no baba not at the end all the time every moment can be the end moment we don't know hmm any moment could be the end moment so then all the time that's what end means yeah so when baba is saying that at the end you will only have to remember the one father and it's such a beautiful thing when the being is just not when because the being is just with baba and seeing the truth completely out of the imaginary world and i know that in the morning this one wakes up the body and just as soon as steps out of bed or the eyes open this one just sees baba and says i'm stepping into the world of where most are dreaming around me but i know you are the only truth and i am the only truth and souls are the only truth i am not going to fall asleep i am with you awake walking with you in this world of dreams yeah and it helps you immediately to establish the very first thing when the body wakes up and you've been body less all night and then you wake up the body and that is your very conscious first awakening that the truth is only baba and i rest is all imaginary 
it is it just sets the tone for the being that you are to be in that space not space but just to be that you are throughout the day being bodyless not being in the imaginary world of the mind so i know that the world of matter is there and i the being am using the world of matter and the body of matter to step into this world right but I'm not going to fall into the trap of imagination, which is in my mind. So I'm in the company of the one who's always out of imagination. And he will help me, the soul, interact with the world of matter the way he wants me to, without falling into the spell of the dream and the mind. Now you come. You are playing the part without. And the beautiful thing is when you're playing the part, you're playing the part from being your truth. So you feel and live very differently. Every experience. You know, all these experiences are happening within you. You yourself is not an experience. You know that, right? You're the Sister, one. Make, Sister, make it clear. I'm an experiencer because last three to four days we had been churning on it. Those of who also were, you know, connected with this divine group. So you have to make it very clear. When Baba says, through you, I'm an experiencer, so this is understood I'm an observer because being detached with Baba, I'm observing everything and Sakshi Drashta, you keep saying still witness. That is also understood uh, quite a bit. But experiencer, uh, make it clear, uh, mind is experiencing or I am experiencing everything, these sorrowful and whatever character-based, drama-based, acting-based, whatever emotions and sensations. So who is the experiencer? This, please make it clear. Okay, yeah. If you really want to understand it even more deeply, yeah. the soul is not even an experience. The soul is the observer of the one that thinks I am experiencing, yeah? And because if I, I'm saying I'm an experiencer and then again and again, I'm defining myself with that experience, then even that experiencer is a dream character in the dream, yeah? So the soul is literally just an observer with Baba, with open eyes, means with clarity. The soul is seeing with clarity. There is this dream character which is constantly either shunning or resisting or craving some experience to make itself feel I exist. And that is the mind itself. Yeah, that is the mind. So I, the being, am observer of that experiencer also who likes and dislikes certain experiences. And it decides and judges whether this experience is wrong and this experience is right. Whereas a being is simply a pure witness. It's like, as we always say, it's like that empty container. It's like that space. Yeah, pure allowance. I allow every experience. I'm pure acceptance. And my fragrance is peace and love. I am... It's not like I am peace. Because I'm pure allowance, my, my natural fragrance is peace, right? Because I'm pure allowance, my natural fragrance is love. Because I don't resist or cling. I don't have this notion of resisting or clinging as an observer, as a, as a one who allows all the experiences to take place within me, that empty container.
can you simplify you spoke so many things at a time it's such a heavy dose so can you <laughs> make it little uh-huh so for because example to be, because you know you are just telling with a very mature experience i don't want that raw level keep making it clear because every time you are saying i'm experiencer and my understanding was observer not an experiencer yeah. now yeah. make it more clear yeah okay so the being that i am simply with baba just for see the being that you are in your anadi swarup with baba okay very foundation level anadi swarup with baba true in what what is your form that baba is seeing you in in your anadi swarup how's baba seeing you very his own child his own swarup i am there like he is so i'm also a star like him yeah absolute very good baba is seeing you as absolute truth that seed true yeah and that seed has the potential for the worst and the highest true yes true yeah so far so good yes okay so i am that absolute being which has a tree with variety of seasons within me baba knows it and baba knows each seed child of his and baba knows that each seed child has a different seasons expressing at different times not necessarily when it's autumn for me it's going to be autumn for you is that true very true so baba is accepting and pure allowance of your tree and of your truth of being the seed both true yeah baba is not seeing you as that moving image which is recorded in your tree is he seeing you as that moving image no that body image thought image mm -hmm. that feeling image he sees me as no. still very very still yeah yeah he's seeing you as very restful. very still very restful also restful very restful not restless very rest perfect yeah yeah, yeah. baba is seeing you as completely still silent restful being even the word restful probably doesn't exist because it has the opposite for him because you started in a um, commentary you know that is all in my mind i can't help it <laughs> yeah we said the restlessness of the mind is nothing but just a change yeah so he's not seeing you as anything that is changing or moving or in sound okay is he seeing you the seed as that no very still no no yeah no he's not baba's vision is the only way you will know yourself so now you know that how baba is seeing you but he knows that you the being will be manifesting a mind and a body he knows that according to whatever is there within the seed right yeah and that too is the very nature of the seed seed lying in a packet is not worth much but when the seed is sown the moment the seed of the soul that is sown on the uh you can say in the imaginary play it's not imaginary to begin with so the soul is using its mind the moment soul comes to this physical world it's not like coming coming but yeah you can say in just to understand the soul is coming to this physical world what happens that but why mind... you said it's not coming no no prior to this sister you just said no not coming but but why not coming you can say it's coming that's why we said again it's coming but it's not like coming from far far away when baba is using far far away in sakar murli because he knows you're so distance oriented and time oriented so he's using the same language to get you out of it but in right. abhyakta he does not 
So mm -hmm. you now use that physical body. The moment you enter, you use a physical body, what happens for you to experience the physical world? What happens? It's like the current hits the filament of the bulb. What happens? Light emerges. Light emerges. Clay emerges, right? The moment yeah. soul, soul inhabits a body or uses a body, what happens? Mind gets activated. Expansion, exactly. yeah. 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 Expansion starts that very moment. Moment. Understood. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. Now movement is there. Images are there. Everything is there. But in golden age, it's very, very literally dream world is not active yet. That is in the mind. So we are in essence full, they are in actions also. Yeah. So I am in essence in action. Perfect. Makes sense. So that that me is the observer of all the experiences with the physical world, which are constantly changing. Right? Yeah. But because I'm not tied to any experience, I'm not attached and identified with any experience, what happens? Experience can't bind me into duality. Effectless, Although, impactless. Okay. Sorry? Effectless, impactless. Yeah, exactly. But as time is going by, I am little by little by little by little coming into under the influence of the gravity mind. of matter. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gravity of matter and mind, actually, more importantly, mind. And then the matter automatically responds to it. So mind starts unfolding, exploring gradually, gradually. Yeah, very slow, like a louse. In golden age also? Isn't it? How is it becoming from 16 to 14? Yeah, very, very gradual. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Climbing so downstairs. Very, yeah. So okay. very little, little by little by little by little. Mind is beginning to, but it's still not going into imagination. It's not an imaginary character is not born there yet. Yeah. And that is why it's still soul interacting with matter and mind. Soul is still like uh, in that sense. Ruler. Uh, not under the influence. I would say not yeah. under the influence of the script because script is under the script is in alignment with the soul. It's still the ruler sister. I feel that way. Rules the whole it kingdom of the, within. It okay. is kind of receptive. Why? Because ruler, it's it's only in confluence age. All right. Done. Yeah, because mind is getting getting the recording right now. And based on that, it will unfold in golden age and silver age. Yeah? Yeah. So that is why golden age and silver age things are happening. It's, life is being lived very beautifully because there is no imaginary character born. But comes copper age. Means when the consciousness starts, it's not some time line and time period. Don't look at it as a time. Baba has given and divided into sections for us to understand. But it's a continuous process. Yeah, mm -hmm. that the soul is experiencing different, different experiences. So it's not, more... yeah, now my question arises. Very intriguing, you said. Soul is experiencing. Make it clear now. Yeah. So the soul is the one who's experiencing all these different, different experiences in golden age and silver age. But an experiencer is not born still. I Repeat. and my interaction of soul with matter and mind. That's it. For me, it's just something that is changing constantly in my vicinity, in my our surroundings. In, and my I don't even know at that time mind or matter. Actually, I'm just living. <laughs> just as a life. I'm living. But you're talking about copper age, no? You just started. We are yeah, talking silver age because you took me back to golden age. So I'm going back to golden age. All right. So this, yeah. So the soul is experiencing everything. 
but I am the experiencer, so I should have a, this experience. I should not have this experience. That's not there still. All in right. Go to the okay. But yeah. come copper age. Come copper age, what happens is, because now the recording in the mind is different. Yeah? And that is yeah. where Ravan's kingdom starts, Baba. Downfall. Yeah, downfall starts gradually. Yeah. yeah. So then what happens in copper age, I, the being, it's not age again, it's not timeline, please. It's just a matter of consciousness coming under the spell of the mind. And as the soul begins gradually to come under the spell of the mind, then starts, I am this experience that is constantly changing, that is the body. I am this experience. Now I have become my experience. Otherwise I was having an experience. Now I have become my experience. And the moment I become my experience, an experiencer is born. Now I like certain experiences, certain experiences I don't like. That which slowly but surely, mind is still not 100% the way it is today in Iron Age. Yeah, but it's with the body starts the identification not so much yet with the name but with the body yeah so then it is this experience that is born now has certain preferences and resistances and identification with the change is happening does that make sense so far yeah so the experiences experiencer is born in the copper age yeah it is, okay. I am this experiencer and I like this and I don't like this. Yeah. There the soul is also experiencing everything in golden age and silver age, but I'm not identified with those experiences. There's a difference. I'm the observer. I'm the witness. Here, I'm not anymore an observer. Now I'm the experiencer. A thinker. The experiencer is also a soul because the soul, one soul who is a uh, alloy is a mixed. Yeah. Alloy is mixed means what? I'm identified. Just like uh, the identification with the thoughts. Yes. Yeah, that's what we are saying. Right? So it is just like the experiencer is not the soul, but it's a figment of imagination that is now there. Now, someone who's experiencing is born in the mind. An image is born in the mind. Please understand this. This is very important. And now image is born in the mind. Is that clear or not? Because if this is not clear, no point going forward. <laughs> very clear. Carry on, okay. sister. Okay. So now that the image is born, as time goes by, now the name and the Opinions are born. And those opinions are given to you as you. As Iron Age comes, this complete identification with I am the body, I am the thought, I am the experience that the thought is giving, I am this and that, here and there. Now this, I feel, oh, I am an experiencer. These are good experiences. These are bad experiences. These experiences I want and these experiences I don't want. Observer is completely asleep. So that's why we use the analogy of the dream. In the dream, now this is where the dream is, copper age onwards. That in the dream, I believe myself to be a dream character. And now as a dream character in the dream, anybody who's had a dream with a different character in their mind in the, in the nighttime, who's had that? Experiencer? 
Yeah, that is that experience in the dream which you are believing yourself to be. But now when Baba comes, he wakes you up. He says, child, experiences were literally coming and going in front of you. Moving, changing. But you are not changed. You are still that tiny point which I knew in Anadi Swarup in the home. And you have all those experiences in you. Including the experiencer of the experiences. The imaginary character of those experiences in you. So then Baba, what is this experience made up of? Child, see this. Constant wearing, identifying with this is me. This is, I'm not, I'm feeling so frustrated. I was so irritated. And I am like this. And I don't like that. You know, this one came across something which had taken the photo off. So I just thought, wow, okay. I did not even realize. It was from the Murli of 9196. Yeah. And in that Murli, Baba is saying, uh, I'm sorry, I was just muting everybody. Baba said, check karo. Man andari andari mantri apna rajya to nahi sthapan kar raha hai. Jese aaj kal ke rajya mein alag group bana kar ke aur power mein aa jate hai. They make a separate group and they lay a siege. और पहले वालों को हिलाने की कोशिश करते हैं तो ये मन भी ऐसे करता है बुद्धि को भी अपना बना लेता है मुख को कान को सबको अपना बना लेता है दिस इज बाबर्स वर्ड इन नाइन वन नाइनटी सिक्स मरली तो रोज चेक कर समाचार पूछो हे मन मंत्री तुमने क्या किया कहा धोखा तो नहीं दिया कहा अंदर ही अंदर ग्रुप बना देवे और आपको राजा की बजाय गुलाम बना दे तो ऐसा तो ना है ना तो बाप दादा ने देखा ये रावण की चीज जो छिपा कर रखी है ना वो मन का मालिक बनने नहीं देती मेरी आदत है मेरा स्वभाव है मेरा संस्कार है मेरी 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 ये मेरा ये मेरा नेचर है ये सब रावण की जायदाद साथ में दिल में रख दी है तो दिलाराम कहा बैठेगा रावण के वर्षे के ऊपर बैठेगा क्या कभी इसको मिटाओ जब मेरा शब्द बोलते हो तो याद करो मेरा स्वभाव या मेरा नेचर क्या है तो दिस माइंड एंड आई टू एवरी थॉट फीलिंग इमोशन दैट हैज क्रिएटेड एंड लेड अ सीज अपॉन द सोल दैट इज कॉल्ड सिस्टर ग्रहचारी इन बाबा मुरली ग्रहचारी yeah. बैठ गए Exactly. That's an accurate word. Yeah. soul have really allowed this dream character to be living as me through the day. I, the soul living with the body is not a problem. It is actually a joy. To revel in that joy is a different joy altogether. But because there's a constant sound and the voice that is speaking which you are not even aware of because we are so interested in that voice in the mind. It's just literally moving the body, using the body, using the senses, everything. That voice in the head is using everything. And I, the being, am just so interested in what I'm seeing. And that is what is where the life has to be withdrawn from it. 
move your attention to Baba. There is no other way. Move your attention to Baba. And you will see Baba is just seeing me without any imagination, child. You have no imagination. But, but see, mind will reveal its conditioning to you, but see with me. And moment by moment, judgment by judgment, judgment, condition by condition, feeling by feeling, description by description, it's coming up. The only way to be that void that Baba wants you to be, that void which is not empty, but that void which is empty of ego, can only happen in self-observation by the soul. Freedom from imagination can only come from self-observation because imagination thrives on thinking, thrives on you identifying with that thinking, thrives on you identifying with that description of that thinking. It's happening constantly. But keep withdrawing your attention from there and bring attention back to Baba and how he's seeing you. This is how you are the observer of even the experiencer and its experiences, which it's defining and identifying itself as. That's why you feel, oh, I feel good when there's a good experience. I feel bad when there's a bad experience. It's all about experience. It's, if you don't have experience and if you don't have this, then you are not good as a meditator. Is that true? Is the meaning clear? 100% more than 100%. Mm -hmm. It's a lottery. It was a question lurking last three days. I says I have to really ask out. Because mm -hmm. whatever you are prompted by Baba, you keep telling. But proper understanding is a must. Then only it's fun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now I'm the observer, even the experiencer who's constantly chasing experiences. With Baba now also? Yeah, in this moment also I can see. Hmm. Is there any desire for any particular experience or I am that just still silent witness allowing every experience to come and go? Only can then you define a my... little more, sister, uh, still witness also? Because in yeah. Hindi it's understood Sakshi Drashta, but it's not clear like you made clear this experiencer thing. So make that yeah. also clear. Still yeah. means I am still. The concept of movement is just a move concept in the mind. Yeah? Distance, space, time are concepts in the mind. I am still means I am not changing. My, my fragrance of, like, you know, sun. Sun can give light from one place. It can bring life to the whole planet just from being still in one place, just with its attention. True? Yeah. Yeah. Why you sit with attention? Sun doesn't have to pay any attention. It's on it, it's nature. Nature on its is own it's happening. Exactly. On yeah. Its own happening. Exactly. Okay. I'm like that. So am All I, right. Master Surya, Master Gyan Surya. Yes. When I'm that master Gyan Surya, master son of knowledge, wherever I shine my light on, my attention is on these thoughts which are constantly changing, these images which are constantly changing as me, then that is my experience of that changing person. Instead of being still, now I'm experiencing myself to be that moving image on my mind. <laughs> Does that make sense? Perfect. Yeah. 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 So I keep forgetting silent witness I am, Sakshi Drashta. So I have to be in its sarupa all the time, Ispruti sarup. That I am that silent yeah. witness. Exactly. You are that silent witness who keeps turning attention away from the mind to Baba. Can you please tell me the exact Hindi of still uh, witness? Is it Sakshi Drashta? Baba keeps it's using Sakshi. in Mukhi. So Sakshi doesn't move. Sakshi is stable in one place. That's so what Baba says. Only. 
ओके या दैट्स दैट इज दैट्स व्हाई बाबा सेज इमूवेबल अनशेकेबल चल अडोल अटल परफेक्ट या या चल अचल अडोल या या ओके अचल चल नहीं रहा है वो अचल हम्म हम्म चलने वाला अखंड अच्छा जो चलता नहीं सदैव 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 निरंतर या या अचल ब्यूटीफुल वर्ड अचल नो मूवमेंट इमूवेबल डजेंट मूव एक्सपीरियंसेस आर मूविंग चेंजिंग but when i believe myself to be these changing experiences then what happens i i'm living that that is my experience because i am who i'm believing that to be me mm -hmm. so because i believe myself to be these changing thoughts feelings sensations emotions then i believe myself then there's a certain image that is created around those movements around that sound around those feelings around those sensation a certain image is created based on that attached to the physical body which feels very solid but it's not solid it's just space actually but because it looks solid to the ego eye to the 3d effect of the thoughts then i believe myself to be this bodily being which is just thinking feeling experiencing and this is me <laughs> so body is also a space you just said yeah 99.9% space if i remember it correctly charlie bhai make also mentioned clear. yeah yeah make it clear because what is uh, what is uh, uh, body made up of atoms and molecules yeah what is an atom if you really go down deep into the atoms uh not the science student sister i won't be able to justify it and i want yeah. to know very intriguing what do you put in your smallest particle atom a plus tomos atoms are 99.9% space i don't know i mean i i heard from charlie bhai only it's called a quark quark i think he calls it and i'm not a scientist either so i can't claim to speak as a scientist but all i do know that no uh, with your understanding not your charling point you you tell from your own understanding with baba yeah, so for me baba, what is, is like a simple atoms word, yeah. and molecules are energy from my understanding atoms and molecules are also just energy yeah okay but yeah. when they coagulate and they come together the glue of these atoms and molecules to come together is my sanskars which are recorded in a blueprint so based on the sanskars that i'm carrying and based on the script that i'm carrying within me the bodily atoms and molecules in the nature come together and create this body so what i understood or uh, whatever is in the recording and my sanskaras as per i am receiving this body also yeah absolutely that's why when you burn it what is left nothing ashes ashes and that ashes yeah. is given fertilizer, fertilizer for the, yeah. yeah fertilizer for the ground so how so is it sister sorry you have to say na soul is a space that is very well understood but body yeah. is a space not understood at all body is like that no what is at the end of the day if you really see matter in quantum physics what i have understood little bit yeah it is seen as matter energy nothing but energy okay and all the matter is energy it's a material energy which has got no life of its own all right yeah but because our mind has labeled all these solid looking forms right like for example if you really take the human identity out of the world stage then mm. what is there it's just trees air earth fire water and ether there's nothing else mm. yeah but as mm. soon as the soul playing a human part descends it starts creating and playing with matter it starts creating and using golden gold mines to create golden palaces 
It cuts down the trees to create chairs and tables. It labels them as chairs and tables. Language is also created. Mm -hmm. So language is created, labels are created, descriptions are created. All of this is creation of a human mind. And what has happened by the end of the cycle, I have become completely caught up, the soul, in the descriptions of human mind, in the language, in the words, in the thinking of the human mind. So it's literally energy and energy is space. I mean, space is like, it's space is everywhere. The whole earth is also within that spectrum of larger space. Yeah. Even yeah. sky also. Even sky exactly. also. Exactly. It's an element. These are all elements. Yeah. So, so truly... let's come to the yeah, let's come back to that point. Uh where we were still witness, Sakshi Drishta. Yeah. Still Sakshi Drishta. So soul has not moved. Soul is just experiencing all this different images, different which is all happening in the mind through the body. It's experiencing change in experiences all the time. But when it starts to define itself as it experiences, then I feel I'm the one that is the one that is chalri, you know, the one that is moving instead of the mm. one that is chal. How you give I'm example of TV and TV screen, sister? How you always give the example of TV and TV yeah. screen that will work? Yeah. yeah. So like, you know, uh, as this one was sharing the other day with other someone, uh, I don't know when, but this one's niece was also, um, and Sister uh, Madhvi is also here. We've shared that experience, but Sister niece, um, niece who was taking course, she said, one day I was playing a video game and I was so involved, so involved. I forgot that I'm sitting on the chair. I thought I am that character in that screen with, and whatever that is character is feeling and moving. I really experienced that to be me. That was my reality in that moment. But I had not moved one bit. And that is what I, the being, am engrossed in my mind movie and the body sensation, so engrossed in it, so engrossed in what I'm seeing and experiencing. I forgot I'm the observer of it all. I forgot and, that I'm a still witness also. Yeah, yeah. I'm the still witness. I have forgot. Observer is always still. So I'm merged into it. I'm totally lost and merged in, immersed in my experience. Immersed is a word, yeah, yeah. So that is why I'm even now trying to just create experiences for Paramdham. Unless I have that blissful, which mind identity has created the definition. Oh, that blissful experience. Then I'm not a soul otherwise. But soul is about different changing seasons within it. And I'm experiencing changing seasons within me. All the experiences are within me. It doesn't matter if I'm experiencing winter, autumn, summer, spring. They are all. That is why Baba has given us this whole cycle. When you identify yourself to be the winter, then winter of humanity is there. When you identify yourself to be the autumn experiences and autumn of humanity is there. Child, you are the driver. <laughs> so I am with that spring identity now. So, no, actually, I'm the one who's out of all the identities. All the, exactly. Winter, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that is a sheer role I had been playing and just a recording. That's it. I'm beyond yeah. that also. Exactly. Yeah, I'm beyond, that also. I'm beyond spring, autumn, summer, winter. In confluence age, I'm observer of all the seasons within me. Okay. And this is being a still silent observer with Baba. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Sister. Thank you, Baba. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully that's very, very clear now. If not, no, no problem. Baba said no. Ask thousand times and we answer thousand times. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> yeah, Baba said once. Yeah. A month back in Abhyak Murli. Hajar bar pucho to bhale pucho. Bhale pucho. Bhale pucho. Baba said to tell you only because you mm -hmm. have to answer. 
<laughs> and that Baba has to answer. Even this one also is learning with you all. We all are learning with Baba. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that Murli paragraph in 1996 is extremely beautiful. I did not read that Murli because I know it's coming soon in our Sunday Murlis because we are on 95 already. Na? So that's January 96. So it will be coming soon, that Murli. So I did not read it. <laughs> yeah. That Murli will be coming to us very soon. Can you, sister, post it in the group also? Gradually, we can prepare ourselves for that group. I was just wondering how you keep receiving such murlis, such paragraphs, how Baba keeps giving you such extra gifts. How you got this paragraph? Tell me. I have no clue. I have no clue. Okay. I have no clue. I had, I All I remember is I have taken a picture and it's been there and just appeared in front of me, that picture. It is just that when you, the being, is just wanting to keep turning around towards Baba. That is why don't keep your eyes, you, the soul, don't keep your attention fixated on what your mind is saying, doing, feeling, thinking, everything, sensing, body, whatever. Just keep bringing the attention towards. The only challenge what happens is mind is so used to movement and the per experiencer that is experiencing life to be as the mind is so used to movement, sound, color, stimulation, that being silent and being towards Baba is not interesting for the mind. Sister, why mind is always thinking so, <laughs> so much? Tell me that mystery now. It's an auto mode only. More we are into this new awareness, more it's showing us many, many dimension, what not. You were just showing, no? that uh, uh, if souls were taking dogs to poop around. So image, now again, right now, at that time it didn't talk, or right now talking to you. Now I'm thinking when I was in US, I used to say, use this to pick up the litter. And someone was casual, I was sitting in the society, I used to watch. Why mind has to register any kind of that thing? Now I'm wondering. You said then, one thing, after, after 15 minutes, uh, mind gave me that taste also. Why am I wavering all the time, sister? It is because Baba is saying, Bachi, that is the nature of the mind. It is in the winter, summer, autumn, spring. In the confluence age, you're seeing all four seasons at the same time. See, in golden age, we just saw spring season. In silver age, we just saw the, what do you call, summer of the mind. In the copper age, we just saw the uh, autumn autumn okay. Okay. of the mind then yeah. in the iron age we just saw the winter of the mind in confluence age i'm seeing all, <laughs> all so even baba can't help it in this mind baba being can't. baba can't help it okay he cannot change your recording that is why he asked you to be that acceptance that you are all right you are that pure allowance, that pure acceptance that you are. And he's telling you that every moment it is coming up in confluence age, all four seasons are manifesting in the mind. Pure allowance, can you spell it? Allowance, I'm not getting it clear. A-L-L-O-W-A-N-C-E. All right. Okay. And that is the very truth of the being, actually. Pure allowance. Means what do you pure mean? Allowance in Hindi? In English Hindi, I'm understanding. Uh, accepting? Uh, kya bolte hai Hindi mein? Sweekrati. Huh? Sweekrati. 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 Absolute is the word that comes to me. Joki, like, dislike. Okay. Good and bad. The duality se pare. Achha, achha. Thik hai. Kuch bolne ko hi nahi hai. Absolute being like absolute father. Total acceptance. Exactly. Total Perfect. acceptance. All Perfect. the seasons that are taking place in your mind. Chai koi bhi feeling aari, chai koi bhi thought aara hai, chai kitna bhi impure, gande se ganda thought aara hai. <laughs> gande se gandi feeling aari hai. Ya achhe se achhi feeling aari hai. Your pure acceptance. Kuch kehne koi nahi hai aapke paas. 
Bhagavad Gita, silent or still. You see, I wrote Sthit Pragavastha. Salutation to that soul. Kamal is here, Baba. Ki. Aise aise bachche dictionary wale baithe hain. Kamal hi hai. Istik pragya. Can't believe it. Pragya. So, sister, bad. any, any, any bad, mad thought, sad thought, good thought. I don't need to be disturbed or feel bad about anything. Yeah, it is like mind will fight. Mind me to maliyudh chalega. There's a boxing. Maliyudh ki photo bhi aapne jo lagaye na, it's very disturbing. If I enlarge it. <laughs> A female costume is hitting a male costume. At times, mine was very happy. I said, thank you, Sister Rini. Um, female empowerment, that feminist... No, uh, you no, know, it's just a thought. A thought. I know it's a thought of, of uh, wider understanding, but mm -hmm. it's very disturbing how much thoughts oh, constantly... This is constantly going on. Where is your attention on who you are or on the thinking mind? All right. Hmm. So more I am uh, in Baba's lap, in my own absolute truth, yeah. those are not going to uh, affect me, any put any effect on me or impact me at all. Yeah, that is where we are living parallel, either being with Baba and observing my mind. Interest bahar khatam ho jata hai drama mein. Kitna bhi ganda thought ho, kitna bhi, kitna bhi achcha ho. Bhi ganda ho. मतलब इतना गंदा कि इतना लस्ट का तो सबसे है ही गंदा बट गंदा अच्छा की भी डेफिनेशन नहीं है आत्मा के पास वो भी डेफिनेशन नहीं है दिस इज कॉल्ड दिस इज कॉल्ड बीइंग स्टिल अगर जो कर्म में आता है तो कर्म में आता है तब तो मैं आइडेंटिफाई हो चुकी हूँ ऑलरेडी Thought say identify hoker action may so now, now I understand. Now I understand. Sorry, Bully. Abhi clear clear jab apne abhi bola na, kitna bhi ganda, kitna bhi achha, kuch bhi hai. Hmm. Mujhe nahi affect karta ho. That is being still. That's hmm. beautiful hmm. definition. Yeah. Bully stop now on the topic hmm. also. Perfect. No, but it's very important to understand that thought, thought, se ladenge. Ganda thought, acha thought, gande thought se ladega. Pure time, yes. Okay. Mm. I am just the observer of it. Knowing yourself as that one is the real foundation of what Baba is teaching. That's why Baba says, "Look at me, because He's eternally still. He's eternally silent." Sister, you have just made one uh, red. Yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. what is this? This is this me? Is me. <laughs> yeah, you can see this is you and I see this as me. <laughs> I'm feeling yeah. it. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay. This is me. Baba's eyes are on me and my eyes are on Baba. And that attention is there so that I don't get deceived by the ever-changing restlessness. Restlessness, mind's changing, bolungi. I would not even call restlessness, but the changing nature of the mind, I do not get disturbed by it. So I'm giving regard it this also. Why to call it restlessness or bad yeah. or whatever? No, it's not bad or restless. I, it's I acknowledge me. it. I acknowledge it and let go. Don't even get yeah. interested in it. Exactly. I'm just not interested, but I'm interested in my Baba and myself and my family of stars. That is all I'm interested in, but I'm aware of the moving, changing mind at the same time. So dreamer identity is crushed at all. It's lost. Completely. It's merged completely. It is, it is merged. The more and more I'm living parallel like this. It's not either this or that. It's both at the same time. So sometimes what will happen? It will be quiet, right? Sometimes it will just be very quiet. Mm. Yeah, very quiet. And that's okay too. I'm still the same. I'm still the same. Okay. This is me. And this is the understanding when Baba says... And who is down... Me and my Baba, who's are those down diamond stars? These, yeah. Like a whoever necklace. Whoever you want them to be, whoever comes to my mind, I see them here with Baba. This is called Vajanti. Everyone shining. Shining. Exactly. Baba. Exactly. 
and and this is what Bai Baba is saying. These are all the beings of Other the light souls. being oh. served. The moment they come to your mind, see them in my eyes, in my cocoon, how they are marinating in my vision, child. See them with me. Now see them. They are not moving. They are not talking. They are not fighting. They are not shouting. They are still like you are. Just like you are not that moving image, neither are they, child. So now, is that one going to be disturbed when Baba says that everything is going to be a fertilizer and everything is going to burn? So forget, be the bodiless one and forget your bodies and all your bodily relations, then you can become pure, which means you can come out of the mind. True? Very, very true. Yeah. So that's why Baba doesn't want me to see my own body and other bodies because he knows that mind and body just function together so intimately. Right? So that's why Baba is the unlimited father child, the death of all deaths. He takes all souls back home again, which means that he comes to destroy all human beings. Now, this language of somebody who does not understand Baba's understanding. It could be very scary it could be. Yeah. It will not be understood properly. But this is the extreme love of God. <laughs> extreme love of God. For souls. So death is of all uh, ego and person uh, false, false, falsehood, Ima I feel. Exactly. Fiction Imagine it. Imagery, yeah, yeah. For all falsehood, death of falsehood yeah. and living the real me. The and, real death, yeah. and death means disidentification. That is all. Perfect. That's it's so lovely with new understanding. I really, it's so beautiful. Death of death is so beautiful now. Exactly. Yeah. It is the giver of I life. I shared it yesterday. I shared one point in Murli class, no Peace Village with Sister Judy. So uh -huh. I don't know where in my mind spoke, but they were so intoxicated with this whole discussion was on this death of death. So this one just shared first time with that conviction. I was enjoying myself. I didn't get scared at all. Otherwise, these words used to be kind of what Baba so boring. Always you're talking this death of what no, what uh, no interest Baba I have. But Yesterday, since morning, the intoxication was. So in the evening, I shared my evening, their morning. I said, sister, I feel death is of falsehoodness. All this fictitious and uh, it's beautiful. Within me is being amazed. I'm living. So everyone said, yes, so, so beautiful. So I feel, yeah. yes, what I'm feeling, I, I could share it. So yeah. now no more uh, getting uh, anything okay. cared by such words, sister, honestly. Yeah, it was lovely yesterday. It is, it is beautiful, and it's glad that how Baba is dispersing knowledge <laughs> hmm? through different different instruments. Knowledge is dispersing. Yes, sister, can you repeat what you said? Death of all deaths is what is the death of the ego. Yeah, it's the death of the imaginary dream character. Yeah. It's the death of the thinker, the experiencer, the doer. All imagination. All imagination. And the only being that is free from all imagination is Baba today. That is that only his company can keep you out of this imaginary world of your mind. So that's when Baba is saying the unlimited father, the death of all deaths, takes all souls back home again, which means that he comes to destroy all human beings. <laughs> I actually just love it when I read it. Like It just creates such detachment. It's like Baba is seeing me just as the pure living light. The pure life itself. 
He's just not mixing me with any imagination whatsoever. Any thought, any feeling. It's a thought, no, that I'm a body. It's just a thought. But that thought has its own expansion in it, descriptions in it. So Baba is saying that however you, you impure ones cannot be taken back home, means the one who is believing oneself to be a dream character cannot go home. <laughs> because an imaginary person cannot go to a real world. It's like the dream character in your dream cannot be the part of that awake reality. No? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the one who's awake can see the dream, lucid dream, with the open eyes. Can see how this dream character lives and thrives on saying I and mind to every feeling and emotion. True? Mm -hmm. So Baba is saying that, therefore I have come to help you become out of this dream character confusion. Only when you consider yourself to be bodyless, and forget your own body and all the bodily relations, can you be pure? And how do you see such a clear definition of what purity is? Baba has given. How do you detach from the body? Not like, oh, I'm not the body. I'm not the mind. No. Moment by moment, conditioning is appearing in front of you. And you, the being, is the observer of that conditioning that is appearing in front of you. This is pure allowance. You are allowing it to come up. The moment you resist, suffering starts. The moment you identify with resistance, rather, suffering is there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is why Baba is saying, only when you consider yourself to be bodyless. So please, has everybody understood? It's not just a word bodyless and bodies and bodily relations. How do you detach? How is it practically done? Through? Separation. Sorry? No oxygen to each and every thought. Sister, yeah. with awareness, with realization. Actually, with practically, even with yeah. realization, what is it? How what is it that you, the being, is being through the day practically? To not be that body. Remember what is body? What have we Baba has told us about body? What is body made up of? Matter says of five body elements. Elements. And what is the body Baba is talking about? Mind. It's just thoughts. Mind. It's just bundles of the thoughts. Subtle. All the sense cars. Sense cars. Thoughts. Emotions. Memories. That is what the body is made of. Yes, about. many sanskar, many sanskar. Yes, sister. We, we yes. immediately, you know, mind says five elements. Those yeah. old recordings. <laughs> mind is so tuned to the old. Immediately, five elements. Now, yeah. again, you are saying, so Rupa sister went much ahead than me. She said something. Then I thought of sensation. But I forgot it's sanskara's based. Yeah. That's it. That's it, basically. So how is it manifesting? For you to be bodyless, how is it manifesting? And what are you supposed to be when it's manifesting? How can you be bodyless? You're using the body, or you, you are literally living with the body 24-7. How will you be bodyless? Sister, only by knowing that I can never be that thought. Yeah. I am the one who is witnessing it, the one who is observing the thoughts that are coming moment by moment. But exactly. nothing about what is speaking can ever be me. Exactly. It starts with that knowing. And then when you know that, and then when you start believing that, which is the truth, then living with it moment by moment really becomes very easy because you know moment by moment so many things are coming in, but you know that you really cannot be any of what is coming moment by moment. 
whether it's mm -hmm. a feeling, whether it's an emotion, whether it's a thought, whether it's an image, whether it's a memory, it's a scene. Kabi is where sometimes it's just single, sometimes it comes in a flood. It could be anything, but mm -hmm. the being just knows that nothing can be me. Yeah. And it would be beyond belief also, right? Hmm. Not another belief system. It's your knowing. Yeah, it's the knowing. But like once you know it, I mean, I don't know. Maybe belief would be the wrong word. <laughs> because a yeah. lot of times you don't know what yeah. word to belief use. It will become but another it, the knowing. Yeah, knowing. Yeah, it's a, it's a pure knowing. But then maybe just living that knowing. I don't know how to put it in words. Yeah. Being that knowing, basically. Yeah, that's what I'm knowing or being. understanding, make it clear. <laughs> knowing or understanding. I think it's understanding. But understanding means what? Knowing. Knowing means I can see. This, this, this being is knowing. Being is seeing. Being is understanding. Okay. Yeah. Again, it's not the understanding, limited understanding of the mind. It is the absolute knowing of even the understanding of the mind. <laughs> You just know, you just are, you just, I am that, I am this being. Yeah? yeah. Does Baba need thinking to know who he is? Not at all. No. Does Baba need to understand who he is? Understanding we need in the beginning, but what does it really lead to? Even this understanding is pointing to who? To the real knowing who am I? real knowing so all these thoughts even this moving images thoughts everything is pointing to the one who's not moving so this one really likes to see mind as tv it really helps this one which is constantly changing channels on its own <laughs> constant variety of channels it has Endless so, channels. Endless. Endless channels, literally endless channels. Like today's TV is nothing compared to mine TV. <laughs> but I Just am not in that TV. Yes, so sorry. Baba says don't see cinema. Baba says cinema nahi dekhna, but TV nahi dekho. Yeah, TV nahi dekho. Bilkul bhi nahi. तो बाहर का टीवी नहीं मन का भी टीवी नहीं देखो पर देखने वाला कौन उसको अपने में इंटरेस्ट हो अपने कंपेनियन में तो इंटरेस्ट हो किसके साथ देख रही हो सॉरी समेदा यू वर सेइंग समथिंग या सिस्टर ये जो दिस इमेज दैट यू हैव शोन नो वेयर द चक्र इज गोइंग सो दिस वाज एग्जैक्टली व्हाट बाबा हैड शोन दिस वन वंस व्हेन आई वाज सिटिंग इन द सेंटर जस्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ बाबा एंड बाबा हैड शोन दिस and this is really so helpful even to this one where really baba showed that you are that still and silent being and within you there is this chakra view that's going around and that you know th that moment made it like so clear that yeah. yeah i am i was never in the chakra view the chakra yeah. view within me i was yeah. never and this is the swadarshan chakra that baba is wanting me the being to be that you know that is what he means by being that sudarshan chakradhari that i know i am carrying a chakra within me but i am yeah. not part of that chakra yeah. and it that really it would second yeah what did you say sister i didn't tell you but you can spin it in a second yeah and even this kalo ka kal which baba is saying yesterday so in the in even in the literal sense when we take it as kal in in i mean in the in the language of time we understand it as a bhut kal bhavishya kal vartaman kal so ye jo mind ki time bound thoughts se baba kalo ka kal humko timeless mein le ja raha hai no he is the one who's really taking us out of this world of time and making us realize that we are the timeless one so then us jagah se it is the concept of death the concept of birth everything just you know it just exists in the mind and nothing more than that mm -hmm. yeah so that is a stepping out of the mind is stepping so sister samedha your... i want to say bravo bravo for sister samedha and that's why i always say whatever sister reni it tells us it's 100% directly from baba but what sister sameda does it's mama's role she always does see she went one step higher what she understood she recreated it so beautiful 
the bhutkal bhavishyakal whatever baba takes us into that real timeless which sister rini had been telling us but she is giving us that intoxication it's how that we can reach it thank you each one om shanti mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so that is why baba is really telling us that you step into your eternity right so when you step into your eternity you're experiencing your timeless self that is all it's so simple easy now easy to be who you are who can say it's easy to be who you are yes it's Yes, yes, sister. No. Yeah. Yes, sister. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anybody else wants to say something? Sister, from where do you get these images? They are so beautiful and so amazing and so out of the world. It is, it is just, you can say, I am not getting them. They are coming to you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but there'll be some source, no, from where. Yes, those, so, like, perfectly, Baba brings those pictures in front, and it's so beautiful to see that one thought fighting with the other thought, and it's just constantly going around. It's such a beautiful, yeah, uh, symbolic the way it's you know come out. Really beautiful. Maybe also that wheel completely rotating. Yeah. Yeah. Every aspect of that which is all the seven days also the way she has presented all the pics in the PPT as if even an IT person can't do. I asked her who has helped you. She said Baba. Yeah, obviously it is Baba. It can't be anybody else. But yeah, it's just beautiful. Yeah. Really, very very beautiful. Just a one more question. Uh, wanted to ask that now that we know that. Paramdham, the subtle world, the corporeal world, everything is within me. Yeah. Now, when Baba is saying that we have Paramdham jana hai, uh, jo, I, I mean, the state hoga, where the mind, intellect, and sanskaras will be merged completely. Yeah. So, is that also, I mean, just to understand that when I, the still and the silent being, and within me now, this recording is playing. And the moment now this recording is stopping, then mm -hmm. is that point Paramdham? That yes. where now it's the like recording has stopped. Yeah. So remember we were saying that there's a karmic doll with a key. Mm. Right? And the moment that the recording is done, it's like the doll drops. Mm. Mm. Right? And that is why the moment I, the being, have truly realized my presence, my existence beyond the mind, I don't need the mm. body anymore. I'm already in Paramdham. Mm. I will experience myself to be that light. Like, you know how Brahma Baba at the end, everybody was experiencing him to be just a light, mm. like an mm. angel, because yeah. that is that was his smriti. That soul yeah. smriti was bodies there, but... I am not from this physical dimension and the mental dimension. I'm just mm. like, and that experience I means, and that knowing of his truth that he's just light experiencing the body and the mind that soul experiences, and, and everybody around him also experiences that this is an angel walking on earth. Mm. Yeah. And that is what will happen. And this is why Baba is always telling us that just to be that angel that you are, all you need to do is step away from the thinking mind. Step away from all the past and the future thoughts. You cannot be any of that. You're just the living light, the living being. You are beyond the past, present, future of the person, of the dream character. You are timeless. So then, sister, one more thing that, you know, we uh, talk about the Paramdham as the red golden sky or, mm -hmm. you know, just the uh, we understand that we all are beings of light and 
you know, naturally a place where it's just light and light, you know, it's to visualize it, to understand it. Is it just that, you know, Baba has given this to us just for us to know that it's just a place of being where it's just purely the light and nothing else. Yeah. So, so it is more like, you know, there is no existence of a bodily and mental being. Mental mm. personality or bodily personality. That is why Baba is giving us this image of the golden red light also because our mind only works with images. Mm -hmm. mm. So that is yeah. why he in the beginning has to give us these images because our sleep is too deep. Yeah. So he gives us these images so that we can see with our, we can give our mind something to come out. For us, the yeah. beings to come out, he's giving us these kind of experiences of light in the mind which is fine. But yeah. then what happens is the person identity in the mind is so addicted to those experiences and it just creates its own paramdhamda in the mind itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that is why Baba wants us to step out of the mind first. Man raja na bane. Abhi aegi wo murli 96 ki. Man raja na bane. Step out of the mind. And know your truth is formless, colorless, imageless. In fact, Baba, as we said before also, from being a uh, shivling, he has taken us to being a, what do you call, uh, to a star. And then even the other day he was saying, even star has edges, you're just a point. <laughs> from being a thumb to a point. Mm -hmm. So he, he's as we are getting more and more refined in our seeing, Mm -hmm. Baba is also refining our understanding of who we are. Same oh, with Paramdham. Yeah, and same with Paramdham. Baba earlier said far away lands in Sakar Murlis, but now in Avyakt Murlis, he just speaks more about galaxy of stars. Yeah. Means galaxy of living lights. God's yeah. galaxy he talks about. And then he's talking about this galaxy is like in going from one room to the next. Paramdham, it's like you have never been separated from me. So if I've never separated from Baba, that means what? <laughs> that means I've yeah. never left Paramdham the stage. I just was sleeping in a dream. Exactly. Yeah. So all these are imageries and 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 all these uh, analogies that Baba uses is to pull us out of all of this uh, imageries of the mind and analogies of. That is what Baba is. And, and it's, it's so beautiful to see how the way he is first, you know, entertaining our minds, yeah. giving us what, you know, mind se humko kaise wo jaga kar, he takes us to that point. I mean, it's beautiful to see that, you know, that how that spiritual teacher is teaching each child of his. And so beautifully he's transitioning us. It's Amazing. That is why when we see his way of teaching, I, the being, also immerse myself in his way of seeing things and being how he wants me to be. That is why knowing Baba's way of functioning is also so important. Where is he coming? How patiently and how beautifully he's stepping into my dream and using the dream only to make me come out of the dream. It's just fabulous. His way of teaching, I mean, that's why you can say God is the teacher here. Yeah. None but one. Yeah. And that is why he's using words to help me come out of words. He's using the sound to help me come out of sound. He's saying, use the body, but come out of the body. It is just, I mean, there are no words for Baba. So it's like, sister, I'm this tiny point. The moment this recording stops, it's yeah. Paramdham. The moment it starts, it's Satyug. And then there is a time where, you know, uh, the, the entire thing just plays and I be a part of it. And then the Sangam where now I know that I'm out. And, and so it's all just that, you know, I am just that still silent being and Everything is just happening within me. The entire cosmos, yeah. the entire universe is within me. Exactly. 
it is all within me and that's why we uh, it's good to see that what is within me is also changing but i am not changing yeah, yeah. So that's why we see constant change of seasons is happening within me and these seasons are nothing but different samskars are constantly changing and happening within me but if i identify even one bit with that which is within me then i am literally trapped means i'm appearing to be trapped yeah yeah so the only way to stay out is moment by moment be the observer of your mind but the one who's observing is out of that which is happening moment by moment and it's not like when we are observing we are lost in observing no because some souls are understanding like that they you told us to observe the mind mm -hmm. But who's observing the mind? Firstly, it is the still being. And observing just means aware and turn the attention back to Baba. And this, if needs to be done a thousand times a day, you do it a thousand times a day. You, the being. You are aware. It's speaking. Turn around. Because no matter what the thought is, all thoughts are imagination today. It doesn't matter what it's speaking about. It's imagination. So turn around. Keep turning around again and again and again and again and again. And the tireless being will never get tired of it because what he's experiencing each time he's turning around, he's experiencing his beautiful truth with Baba, which has no change and no end and beginning. And that is why this being can truly enjoy turning around again and again. Yeah. Is that clear? So observing does not mean, oh, I'm walk watching it like a hawk. No. Observing means being aware, but not interested. Look at Baba again and again and again and again. Yeah. Attention on one Baba. And then with Baba, see as he's seeing you. Get lost in that after that. Don't stop at looking at Baba. Then look through Baba's eyes how he's seeing you. True. Get immersed in that. Then again, a little bit time will go and then again, this chakra will pull you. Means it will try to pull you. It will look interesting. Because mind's boredom is a very big, uh, what do you call, very, very big sanskar. Boredom, which keeps the soul trapped in the activity of the mind. So then this boredom will pull you again. Turn around, turn around. Don't feed the boredom by doing something through the body and mind. Don't feed it at all. Mind bolega ye ja ke khale, kuch ye khale, kuch ye karle. Or kuch nahi to ja ke murli hi padle thodi. Usse baat kar le, isse baat kar le. Hmm? Food is a big uh, rescue mission for the mind. <laughs> Boredom mind. Don't, don't feed it. Kuch nahi to ye bana le. Aaj ye bana le, wo kar le. Don't feed it with your action. Turn around. What needs to be done will be done. Let that happen. Turn around and look at Baba. All right. So let's take this moment. Uh, sister, uh, just one thing. Uh, that what needs to be done, that will automatically be done. Uh, yeah. This also mind keeps on chattering. That uh, yes, uh, it's okay. At some time, uh, uh, you can do it without uh, putting your brain into it. But at times, you need to put your brain. Yeah, it will be used when it needs to be used. No problem. But the one who's using it does not have a sense of I am using. The one who's using it has no sense of I and mine. And if there's a sense of I and mine, you're observer of even that person that is trying to use the mind to do something. That will also become clear. Okay.
observer of i means i is uh, the soul no no there's i one i which is i of the soul there's also many 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 eyes which are i of ego but you are the observer of those eyes i have to do this it's i of the ego person i have to go this i have to turn this around i need to fix this i need to make this happen or i am not able to meditate when i am not I'm at work oh so oh. then that is actually two i one is that ego mind i and another is the i actual i the yeah, true real. being yeah the true okay. being yeah so if you keep seeing objects you cannot know yourself to know yourself you have to turn your attention away from objects towards yourself and towards baba firstly and then from baba to you and then spend time as a timeless one for baba to see how he's seeing you om shanti Shanti, thank you, Baba. Thank you, Baba. Thank you, Baba.